So once you've collected your data and you're happy that you know, you've got all the flights that you intended to on a day, we head up to Surface and then take all of that data onto our PCs and that's when the kind of, for me, the fun part of the processing starts. The next step is taking that data and getting as much use and sort of richness out of it as we can. Grab tick six looks pretty good. It looks like we've got. Uh, let's just change these color. Yeah, so we have the ore pass here, um, but we know that the floor was undercut. So it's really a tough place to get people over top of. That's where having the live map like on the scan itself is really useful. Even to get shots like this, where we're, you know, we're looking at sort of like a nine meter high back. To get up this close and look at the bolts, you need to bring in a piece of gear or like a deck or something. And I mean, like you can do it, but it, it's really just taking away that barrier of, you know, how quick that information is available to you. We will have some of our design meetings where we bring in all the different departments and groups, and it's a lot easier to pull up kind of a video or something than to try to talk on like just an engineered section. It just helps when you can actually see, you know, you get you know, 10 or 15 people in a room and, you know, each person's kind of looking at their own special viewpoint of it. You know, the operations guys are looking at some of the operational logistics, ground control guys looking at the ground, you know, geology guys looking at some of the fault and structures. So you kind of get everyone's opinion there, whereas, you know, underground, there's only maybe one or two people who are, get to really experience that data live. But this is, I mean, almost better than going down. And the team on Surface can review what we've seen. The fact that you can show somebody a scan adjacent to the video itself is absolutely phenomenal um, because it can enable people to, to really understand and place themselves in that spot that you were during your inspection time. It can go in an area as small as itself really um, with sort of very little space on either side so I certainly wouldn't be able to climb up into a raise and see what's going on in there. So. You just cut up the scans to try and get the best fit possible. I would probably cut it up into four or five different sections and maybe even pull in a different scan to compare against. So yeah, it can definitely cope with the environment. Um, I've not seen any, you know, areas where it's, it's struggled with the dust or certainly never struggled with the light. Um, considering how small the drone is, it's actually quite impressive how, how much it can capture through its video system. We've only had our Elios for a couple of months, so I've only been using Inspector for a couple of months. Um, but I mean, every time I take a scan with Elios, I'll use Inspector. Every time. There's no point not.